Second time around, it's pretty good, even if it takes a little while to get there. Hey guys, this is my review for Season 2 of Stranger Things, otherwise known as Stranger Things 2. Sorry that it took me so long to get around to this after I finished the series, finally, the second season. I said I was going to do a season review, just like I did with the first one, but things got in the way. Anyways, here it finally is. And least to say, there is way too much damn padding in this season. The second season starts off with a really intriguing first episode. But, admittedly, after the first episode, up until about episode 5, it just really slows down. The entire element with L11 and just her coming back into the real world. Admittedly, I was a little bit pissed at how quickly she got back. Like, it, basically what happened was she went, after she killed the Demogorgon, she was on in the Upside Down, and then literally, as the boys are still in the high school, she's able to find a way back into the real world. And while they did explain it well of how she disappeared and why she hasn't gone and like found the the boys because she's trying to keep them safe it really kind of mitigates and if anything it it makes her sacrifice her steaming sacrifice at the end of the first season all for nothing like it it doesn't have nowhere near as much weight as it did before now admittedly i knew she was going to come back obviously but i just didn't think it'd be that easy but otherwise everyone in the show is still on point for characters the winona writer's great david arbor's great the kids are all fantastic millie yeah millie does a fantastic job however as i said there is way too much fucking padding in this all of the memories, all of the kind of flashbacks with Eleven and Hopper are just pointless. You didn't need it there. You basically established it, even if you could have had like a, I don't know, 30 second exposition line to explain everything that happened. Every time it goes to Eleven, honestly, Eleven's story is super useless up until the end. Her whole story is padding. And I'm not just talking about the seventh episode. The seventh episode was that was like a on the brakes for pushing the story especially since the sixth episode is the best episode of the season but just everything with her her like her being in a cabin for an entire year cabin bloody fever my god her whole search for her mother then finding the other finding number eight which by the way they never explain how eight escaped they never explain why she's out in the open. They don't explain that at all. And that was something I only just remembered by re-watching my review of the first episode. It's, they don't really explain how she got out. They don't explain why no one's looking for her. So I thought that was a little bit of a drop mark, but obviously that's probably gonna come back in season three. They're gonna continue that whole aspect of her and Eleven teaming up and everything. But otherwise, I like the references to Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I love the tunnels as an idea of a reference to aliens, especially when the military guys go down there and they get torn apart. Admittedly, my biggest surprise of the season actually was Sean Astin's character, Bob. He's a boob. He's a real boob when he's first introduced. But admittedly, a character you're kind of like, eh, around, you slowly start to develop a real relationship with him, and then they... And then they... Well, if you've watched it, you know what happens. That part was one of the <laughs> that was one of the hardest parts of the whole show because just how well they had built up his character and everything. And admittedly, that was a very sad moment in the show. Now, while admittedly the show does take a long time to bloody well get going, especially with the first half of the season, once it got going, it never stopped. The conclusion of the season is pretty run to the numbers but it was still a fun time that had great references and really cool visuals admittedly the visuals in this episode were really cool i actually liked the little baby demogorgon dogs and steve was great i thought the relationship between steve nancy and and jonathan was actually really well done i liked the whole aspect of that i thought that was one of the stronger parts of the show and yeah the relationship with the boys and mad max i thought that was pretty well done as well Either way, Season 2 is definitely not as good as the first one, as there was a consistent flow with the first season. Season 2 has a lot of pit stops along the way, so that kind of lowers it in terms of its rating. Um, the story is not as well connected together. It's it, They rushed it, obviously. They made this season in less than a year. They 
from development to freaking shooting it to releasing it, it was barely over a year. So I give the Duffer Brothers, <laughs> I think they did pretty decent considering the lack of time they had. If you ever want an example of a show not having enough time to be fully developed, look at True Detective Season 2. The same thing happened there. It's why we've waited for almost three years. We're, going to, we're still waiting for the third season of True Detective. So I'm not upset that we're going to have to wait until 2019 for the next season of Stranger Things. I just really want them to deliver something that's good. I want them to deliver something that's well crafted and not have a lot of bloody padding like this season did. So in the end, my rating for Stranger Things Season 2 is a 5 out of 7. It dangerously came close to a 4, but because of how good the end of the season is, I feel it's sort of warranted for its padding and for its rating, mainly because if it was a full 22 episode season, then yeah, I would have been pissed. But the fact that it's only eight ep it's 9 episodes, I feel it gets a little bit of leniency for that reason. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you guys want to watch my previous reviews of the Stranger Thing episodes, um, you'll find them in the playlist that I'm going to link at the end of the video. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this review, and Star Wars is coming soon. Anyways, see you guys later.